Hi, this is Music and Message, and this is Someone Died for Me. I owe it all to you I guess it's best to ask myself What am I gonna do With this unspeakable gift Now that I know the truth Give me strength and mercy Give me joy filled days As I make my way Off my hill to you Three on a hill How could it be? Never will get over that someone died for me As I came around and woke up Oh, they slipped away from me Lord, I know you're the only one And will always be But I never will get over That someone died for me It all, but somehow there's still a price. This making a peace, Lord, this turning way of ice. As if the evil that had left me was somewhere else to die and attached itself to some loved one. To be sacrificed The wherewithals That you did it all Not by me Or us only cries Three on a hill How could it be I never will get over That someone As I came around and woke up Well, they slipped away from me Oh, Lord, I know you're the only one And will always be But I never will get over That someone died for me Can you expect from a dying thief When I get to heaven Tell them Jesus set me free Oh, I see him still upon that hill I never, ever, ever will I never will get over that someone died for me
came around and woke up They slipped away from me Lord, I know you're the only one Oh, and will always be But I never will get over I never will get over I never will get over that someone died for me I never will get over That someone died for me I went through a very difficult time about eight years ago. I had a health problem that nearly killed me. I got a good doctor and a specialist. It got worse before it got better. I found myself, well, getting my insurance policies together, get make sure that my wife is taken care of and my kids. Well, I was living like I was dying because I was. I, I, I went back to my faith. I, I turned from the direction I was going, tried to put down some things and be good and found it was really, really difficult. Well, being good is good, but we're never good enough. As I saw the light and turned around, I thought no one does life completely right. There had to be better ways, right? I went back to the, the Bible. If, if I was getting paid for doing the wrong thing from what I understand, then the wages of sin is death. I'd be getting paid by death, with death. But the gift of God, I, I heard, is eternal life through Jesus Christ. In Romans 10, 9, it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You know, that's what I did. I bowed my knees by myself and earnestly sought God's face. I made my peace. I turned from the way I was going and turned to Jesus. To be sure, no one does life completely right, you know. It's by, it's by grace we're saved, by faith not by works, or we'd be able to brag about saving ourselves. Jesus was walking with his disciples and came across a fig tree that did not have any fruit on it. And he cursed it and said that no fruit should ever grow on it, forever. Now, that is what I do not want to have in my life as, as, as having Christ as Lord of my life. See, see, the next day, Jesus and his disciple went by the fig tree, and his disciples were surprised that the fig tree had withered up so fast. You know, I heard a local pastor say that God is merciful, and that sometimes he will have the fig tree die instead of a person. You know, I noticed when I was making my way through this recovery that three believers died in a row. They just got called home. They were fighting this good fight along side me and the family and there was something that seemed very sacrificial in this christian family struggle because their lives and all the christian service service that exempt was exemplified in them here i was making it through and they didn't maybe i felt some survivor guilt but i also heard people in that time period say that comes in threes oh well you know three on a hill so I wrote this song with that bend, uh, perhaps as we walk with Jesus. And maybe on the other side, we'll understand, this, understand that better. God works in patterns. Uh, the eternal Godhead is represented in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Um, one, thing for, hey, hey, one thing for sure. It's all because of what he did and not anything I or we did. Think about the thief on the cross. Jesus is hanging there between the two thieves. 
One mocks him and says, well, if, if you are who you say you are, get us and you down from here. The other says, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. To which Jesus replies, verily I say unto you, today you will be with me in paradise. So the thief dies, well, Jesus dies, and then the thief dies. The thief goes to heaven, and, and let's say the angel that greets him might have, might have said to him, so, what's your story? How'd you get here? Now in heaven, don't you want to find that thief and ask him how that all shook out? He, he tells the angel maybe, well, it was rough on that cross. I don't, I don't know, but I'm glad I'm here. Now, wait a minute, the angel says. What, no, no baptism, no church membership? Well, what do you know? Well, what do you know? You know about the doctrine of justification? How about, how about sanctification? How'd you get here? And the thief says, all I can tell you is the guy in the middle said, I could go here. Jesus said, I could be here. And that's it, my beloved. That's it. At its best, we're all no better than the thief. And me personally, I'm grateful for God's unspeakable gift. So I'm getting out the good news. That's what I'm doing. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. If every, every man according as he purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or out of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound in every good work. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. That's 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8 and 15. Also changing the subject a bit. The ever-present issue that presented this week was favoritism. That issue and then continuing that stand in Christ, continuing a stand in Christ. Showing favoritism is not right, either in issues of social status, race, gender, politics, or, or, or raising children, being divisive. I was taught that no one is better, and Jesus died for everyone. In James 2, 1 through 4, it says, My brethren, have not faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect to persons. For if there come unto you your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come also a poor man in vile raiment, and you have respect to him that wears the good clothing, the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou in a good place, and say to the other one, Sit, sit to the poor, stand thou here, or sit down in, under my footstool, or are you not partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Concerning the stand to take, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power unto salvation, and I am not ashamed of his request of me. There are some things I've turned away from and left behind following Christ. As we go to Christ, we're leaving the old way and turning to him as a new creation. And I'm going on record that I can't do this without begging for his mercy, rest, joy, favor, and healing in the process. He can make it happen. We are not Jesus. He paid it all so that we do not have to carry the eternal price. In Mark 8, 34 through 38, it says, And when he called the people unto him and with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whatsoever, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for a soul? Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and of my words 
in this adulterous and sinful generation. Of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in glory of his Father with the holy angels. Remember, some in the line of duty in serving Christ and our country have made the ultimate sacrifice. God rewards our sacrifices we make for the kingdom. In Mark 10, 30, it says, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses, brethren, sister and mother, and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. A prayer for peace, healing, joy, rest, protection from persecution, recovery in God's favor. Our families need, you need this, I need this, our families need this and our country needs this. Our world needs Jesus. Restful nights and healing days. May you be greatly blessed. I'm praying for a restful, peaceful, peace-filled week. May God make the way easy and the burden light as he does the heavy lifting and clears the way. What can I say for what God has given in his son and his death on the cross for us in that hope for eternity, given his power of resurrection? The only thing we can give him is our request for forgiveness and maybe a song. May God be glorified and I never will get over that someone died for me. Three on a hill, how could it be? I never will get over that someone died for me. As I came around and woke up, they slipped away from me. Lord, I know you're the only one and will always be but i never will get over i never will get over i never will get over that someone died for me this has been someone died for me have a fantastic week